All right then, hello. It is finally time to begin a new walkthrough on the channel. No Man's Sky, Permadeath. So let's begin, but first I would like to address some things. Permadeath is not the hardest mode in the game. There is still harder, as you can see, we're not on maximum difficulty just yet, we're not. But we are pretty close to that. And I think we shouldn't change anything from permadeath. Because this is not insane, impossible difficulty mode. This is just permadeath. And No Man's Sky is an infinite game. So that means that you technically cannot beat it. I mean, there is no real way to beat it. You can do whatever you want. It's an infinite game with an infinite world or universe, I guess. There really is no way to beat it. But for the purposes of this walkthrough, me beating it counts as me completing all the main storyline and going to the center of the galaxy. Once those things are complete, the walkthrough is done and I'll move on to something else. So yeah, that's what I would like, that's what I clarified. So now I guess let's, let's start the game. Confirm and start game. Okay, we're, we're going into it. No Man's Sky, finally time to begin. I don't actually know how hard this is going to be because I've never actually tried permadeath in the game. So I don't actually know how hard or challenging this mode is really going to be. I don't know. I've only really played on the normal mode with reasonable difficulty settings, not permadeath. So I don't know how hard this is going to be. All right, let's begin the initialization. Yeah, as you can see, this planet is freaking hot. 69 degrees almost. All right, let's go. All right, so we're in. We got to, yeah, we start off with nothing and our thermal protection is almost out. That is amazing. Let us mine some, some stuff. All right, so the goal of this game, at least for now, is just for me to survive Find my ship and try to repair it. That's the goal of the game as of now. And gather some materials to live, of course. Yeah, I've played this game a butt ton. 400 hours online and even more offline. So, I think I know what I'm doing. I know... Roughly what I am doing and I should definitely not die in the beginning, right? Overheat, damn it. Okay, we found some sodium. Alright, so we got some hazard protection. We can now live for a bit longer. Yeah, I don't know how to get that. It's literally inside this massive plant slash rock like thing. Yep. Well, that's very fair. That's very fair. That's very absolutely fair. That's so fair indeed.
Come on, me. Mine all the shit we can. Mine all the crap we can get our hands on. Okay. So, what is this? Hepatoid- I'm sorry for- Heplatoid weed or whatever. Sorry for not speaking a lot, but yeah. This section of the game just requires a shit ton of mining and some concentration. What is this? Yes, hazard protection. Okay, nice. That is good. We got some hazard protection. That is great. We do want some hazard protection, all right. Okay, so how do we install the analysis visor? All we need is just one carbon nanotube, which, yeah, we should be able to get pretty easily. And we have the analysis visor. Okay, perfect. Now we can actually scan stuff. Which will allow me to, to get the secondary resources of stuff like plants... And minerals, and but also it can let us get units and nanites, which is the currency of the game. We'll definitely need to get some in order to actually progress into the game. Yoinky McFricking Yoink, okay. Nice. Alright, now we need to actually go to our starship. This isn't as bad as I thought. I really thought this would be... The beginning would be, like, incredibly intense. Oh, wait. What does this planet have? Ancient bones? Oh, hell yeah! Holy shit, I got so lucky. This planet has freaking ancient bones. So, if you don't know... Ancient bones are basically this thing that I can sell For a crap ton of money, they're worth an insane amount So I can get rich on the first planet in the game. I don't even need to grind for units in the beginning. That is Obscenely lucky. All right. I probably need to scan some more Yeah but first of all, we need to go to the signal source before- I don't even have the terrain manipulator yet, so... I will need to go to the signal source, and also I need to find more... More sodium-rich plants. Because that is how this game works. You need to survive. Sodium-rich plants. Okay. Let me recharge real quick. Nice. What does this do? What does Sweet Root do? Oh, okay. That gives me some more hazard protection for a bit. Alright. Is there any more sodium? I mean, I have the plan, but I would rather get some more now. Obviously, because that it would be really nice to have. These rocks actually give us a bit of sodium. That's good. That is quite good. Oh, this rock isn't mine yet. Let's mine it. Let's scan and mine it. Heh. Gives us some dihydrogen. Oh wait, let's scan that as well. Nice, oxygen. You see, this is why you want to scan them. 
It gives me some sometimes some secondary stuff. Sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it does. All right, I think that's it. Wait, some unidentified plan. All right, perfect. Some oxygen-rich plants. Some creature. What is this creature even? B. Dumus. It eats flowers. Okay, cool to know. Very nice to know. We got some containers. Let's search them. I might be going way too fast for some people, but that's because I know exactly what to do in this game. Like, I got everything memorized. And, yeah. Ah, shit. We can't gather that. I'm just used to having everything. I'm just so used to having everything. Alright, I'm gonna need to get some oxygen for that life support. Scan as much as we can on this planet. Yeah, let's scan this. We just want to scan everything that we can find here. I already scanned that creature. Okay. These names are really goddamn weird. But that's because these names and the planet and everything in this game is procedurally generated. Like every single thing in this game. Well, thank you. Hazardous Flora. I'll take that. Alright, let's restore the life support with oxygen. Okay, nice. Some more oxygen-rich plants near us. That is great. That is quite good. Okay, nice. What do we got near the crash site? We got some materials, which will definitely come in handy. Some oxygen, some carbon. What will this give us? Nanites received, nice. 30 nanites! Alright, let's speak with the signal source now. Scenario, iteration, whatever, and deleted. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel emptied. So yeah, this is probably where our ship crashed. Or I guess nearby. Okay, fresh iteration generated. Let's broadcast the message. Okay, anomalies compliant. Okay, system integrity. Alright, so now we need to find that. Yeah, our ship is there, actually. So, yeah, this is where we crashed. We have no idea who we are. How we came to be. Dude, just so goddamn annoying. Who the heck is calling, bruh? Call from Mama Cell. Mama Cell, please answer the phone. Okay. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, look at that! Some treasures! We got ourselves some treasures already. So, in the very beginning of the game, although these are not too worth exactly too much, but eh. Let's just mine. We need to get as much as we can for the early game. Let's mine some of this. Alright, that's enough, I think. Yeah, that is enough. Okay, nice. Okay, let's let's eat this again. Alright, that's our last sweet root. Alright, now we need to go towards our ship. What is here, though? First, I want to... Nothing. Okay, let's go. Iteration, whatever, online. Atlas connection... Intermit. Okay. Launch thrusters are offline. Pulse engine is offline. Alright, let's read this, I guess. <clears throat> I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of it before. 
but the ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet and the ship is a lifeline out to the stars. All right, let's first of all read the log. Pretty important. Log whatever, unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit connected, suggestion pilot should... Okay, so yeah, we need to repair the Starship systems first. Yeah, we need to repair pulse engine and launch thrusters. So how do we repair pulse engine? We need a metal plating, which we can craft. Good. And we have dihydrogen jelly, which we can also craft. Alright, so now we need the hermetic seal and the pure fur, right? Restore point saved. Okay, good. Let's go back to mining, I guess. <laughs> Let's just go back to mining. In the early game- Ah, shit. Weapon charge depleted. Damn it! Damn it, man. Damn it. Yeah, just the same stuff for now. Alright, I think we have enough of this. Sweet root! Perfect! Let's get that! Ha! Sweet root will always come in handy. It, the flashlight automatically turned on, which is great. Fireberry, what is this? Oxygen, O2. Oh, wait, we need to board the ship again? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, I should probably... I should probably eat some of the, the stuff. Alright. Restore 5% life support power. Yeah, let's just eat these all... Okay, let's restore it till we get 100% life support. Okay, nice. These fruits are really... Really do come in very handy here. Let's mine the hydrogen crystals. We'll need them. We need everything in this game. Obviously, anything we can get early on is good, so we should probably focus on mining in the early game. Because we'll need everything, we'll need all that stuff later. Let's go back to our ship now. We can mine some furry dust. Alright. Alright, let's board the ship now. What do we need to do? Alright, iteration functional, starship critically damaged. Okay, request assistance. We need a hermetic seal. And our ship is just completely destroyed. Like, there's fire and... Yeah, our ship is done for. Tell me how to get the hermetic seal. Take the planetary chart. Thank you very much. Plot the route. Let's go. I'm going too fast, man. But, you know, it's whatever. This bo this early game part is really honestly annoying and boring, to be honest. Nah, it's okay. It teaches new players how to play the game, and that's... 900 units. Yeah, we're going to be going there for a while. Considering it's 900 use away, and I don't even have a good jetpack. I have a non-upgraded jetpack. Alright. Damn. Yeah, this is why we don't want to be falling. We don't want to be falling here. That is a big mistake. 
to be falling so that we injure ourselves and ultimately die. We do not want that. Nice. Okay, let's eat these. Get back our life support. Okay, nice. Let's get more fireberry. Ah, shit. Incoming firestorm. Oh, shit, shit, shit. That was freaking... Oh, my God. We just hit the jackpot. We hit... We just hit the jetpack, and a storm is incoming. So that was very, very lucky. Holy crap, man. That was... Come on. Shit, the temperature's increasing. We gotta get there fast. We can't focus on mining now. Let's just collect... Alright, that's it. We gotta go. We gotta go. Still 600 U's away. We gotta go fast. We gotta go. We gotta go. I don't wanna die. I mean, I can dig a hole under the ground. So that we end up don't dying. But that's lame, man. Like, that is lame. Alright, I think we gotta restore. Yeah, we gotta restore now. Alright. We collected so much sodium that that was good. Oh, actually, our jetpack is increased when the storm is. All right, let's get some more hepatite weed. What does the hepatite weed do? All right, hazard protection. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. And our jetpack is... Look at our jetpack. It's so buffed thanks to the extreme storm. All right, we're good. We're here. Give me the hermetic seal. Prove it to me. Six out of seven logs are corrupted. No one static. Making this recording in case static. Leaving behind more static in the fabricator. Static might be of some use. Static visor damage. Can't find ship. Okay. Let's. Thankfully, this dude, whoever this is, gave me a hermetic seal to live and repair my ship. So thank you very much. A hundred degree storm, though. We should be boiling to a crisp. We got our protection research specimen what does that do what does that even do bro what is this ghosting of my character oh, look at how it's ghosting a bit weird a bit weird but okay maybe it's an effect yeah we need to find our starship now we need to go back to our ship but we still got this storm but thankfully we got that hermetic wheat so we can survive at least for a little bit i'll just get the you know this is probably a horrible idea mining in the storm. Eh, we got some more sodium though. So that's not ter terrible. What do these pulpy roots do? Oh my god. More flipping hazard protection. Dude, we're going to be surviving for so long. Thanks to... We got so many fruits. Thank god. Thank goodness. For this, man. Thank goodness. I'm so thankful they introduced these in the game. They make life so much easier. Especially in the beginning. In the end, they're not really that useful. But for the beginning, these fruits and berries and stuff and, and food is very useful. Extremely, I would even argue. Because they're just saving me so much sodium right now. I would have had to use probably 100 sodium just to get there. But now I don't. And now it's normal again. So the storm is gone. So perfect. Nice. And we got some more sodium. Wait, speaking of sodium. Speaking of sodium, I wanted to upload this planet. 104 nanites. That's great. Wait. Damn it, I already scanned everything. I, I was ahead of the game. Come on, man, I need to test it. Okay, whatever. Damn it, how am I supposed to progress? I tested it and used it because what? what's the reason not to? Like, come on, man. Damn, this game is gorgeous. Just look at the stars and the 
atmosphere and the lighting. It just looks incredible. This is why I love this game. The graphics, the gameplay, it's just great. It's just a really, really, really good game. All right. Oh, perfect. I have an unscanned thing. All right. Great. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some more fur ray dust in the meantime. I will get some more fur ray dust in the meantime because why not? There's so many rocks here, so I might as well get some. All right, we have sodium nitrite somehow. So let's just yeah, let's just restore it with with that. Oh, I don't even need to do that. Why did I waste that? I have this. I have pulpy roots, I totally forgot. And more oxygen, thank you very much. How many resources do I have? Yeah, I have a crap ton. Okay, so for now we don't really need a mine because I have a decent amount of resources now. Let's just get back to our ship. Oh, that meteors in the distance. This is a gorgeous game. Just an absolutely beautiful game. And for now at least... Alright, we're close to our ship now. I'm not sure what use mean units. Is it meters? Is it feet? I don't know. It just use, so yeah. Distance is a bit weird in this game, how they calculate it. Alright, let's go. Repair the pulse drive. Yes! Now we only need to repair the launch systems with pure furry. How do we get pure furry? Tell me game, how do I get it? No, I don't need metal plating. Oh no, I actually do. Okay, never mind. The game is telling me to be- the game is right here. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, portable refiner. Okay, refuel, um, let's do carbon, okay, and we need what, fur ray, and we needed 50, we need 50, okay, 50 pure fur ray, alright. All right, perfect. Nice, bro. Nice! That's it. We have everything we need. Well, look at that bloom. It just like gets great, man. The bloom effects are just wonderful. Completely gorgeous game. Unfortunately, we still cannot get ancient bones. Maybe I can return to this planet though for later All right, that's it we're leaving the planet the planet that we crashed on Is now I guess no, nah, I'm gonna return though to get some bones, <laughs> but yeah, but for now at least We yeah, we don't need anything. Let's go man. We're leaving! I'm testing. Test! I'm pressing W! Shift! Yay, now I'm fast now. And pulse engine. Test. Alright, perfect. I tested everything. Look at that meteors that I can mine. Let's mine them. I totally am very new to this game. And this is totally just not an extra challenge for me because I'm bored. All right, shit, we need to answer that. 16, 16, 16, 16, come override. Please identify yourself. I am 
Nothing. Okay. I guess I can identify myself. You are not alone and follow the static. Alright. Perfect advice, man. Where are we going to? A swamp planet? Sounds fun, man. Sounds fun. What is happening? There's a space storm going on? Dude, this is just the beginning of the game. Like, what is happening? Nice, man. Okay. Let's get this tridi tridium, I guess it's called. Okay. Okay, cool. God damn, we have so much. Do we already have so much tritium? What the hell? Alright, I think that's enough. That's it for now. That is it. That's it. Alright. Let's go now to... Wait. Let's just get these in front. So what is this other planet? It doesn't say. What is this unknown planet? Dust Bowl? Alright, let's just go to the signal source for now. Look well, at that, we refueled our pulse drive. Pulse engine, rather, sorry. How do I refuel this? Oh, I need a... How do I even craft that? Metal plating. Should I refuel it? Yeah, probably I, I will. Just cause. Okay, nice. 100%. 100%. I'm just gonna use these berries. To refuel our life support. Alright, perfect. All right, goddamn, we're now entering the atmosphere of the new of the second planet we're on. Let's see how this planet looks. It's very cloudy on this planet, I see. Very Yeah, it's a swamp planet. Okay, these are pretty cool. Approximate location. Okay, let's land. Let's land. Largest planet? Okay. S let's just scan everything we get. The first thing that I do when I land on a new planet is instantly just start scanning everything I see. Like, every single thing must be scanned. Oh, let's also get that hepa- let's also get that- these and this, because we'll definitely need it for later. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Come on, man. What are these? What are these? I want to know what the heck are these? This just carbon. Dude, how are these mushrooms so bulky? It takes so long. Give me a lot of carbon though. 40 each? It's a hell of a lot of carbon. The hell? That is a butt ton of carbon. I just got from two of these mushrooms. I used a lot of di dihydrogen to craft these jellies, so I'm just gonna mine some right now. Oh, nice. Damn! Chromatic metal? Nice, dude. These give chromatic metal as a secondary? We got six chromatic metal. That is not bad. That is actually not bad. Damn it. Alright. Damn it, man. 
Damn it, man. These mushrooms give a lot of carbon, so yeah, I'm just gonna mine some. Alright, we should probably go to the signal source now. Thankfully, this planet is very moderate in temperature, so we don't need hazard protection. That's our ship. Alright, let's just go towards the signal source then. Do I have a lot of oxygen? Eh, a decent amount. Fair amount. Yeah, like, what are these? I want to scan... Okay. Damn! What is this? Like, look at this thing. Look at this thing, dude. This thing is massive. Holy shit. Yeah, but as I was saying, since this planet is very mild in temperature, thankfully we don't need any hazard protection. Let's just get... What is this? What is this crap? I know exactly what it is. Heh. <laughs> Some freaking hazard flora. I'm gonna mine you for oxygen. Alright, perfect. God damn it. Dumbass sentinel, go away. I don't I don't care about you right now. So we only have to worry about life support system on this planet, which we actually only have stuff for hazard protection that we don't need right now. I mean, I'll gather more of the hepatite weed, because- The wheat, sorry, not weed. It's not weed. Wheat! Because it will come in handy for later, obviously. I'll mine some of this just to get some more ferrite dust and chromatic metal. Great, I already have almost 20 chromatic metal just by mining these these things. That's just great. That's really awesome. Okay, let's scan this plant. A lot of mushrooms, eh? A lot of mushrooms. A bird. Deepest roots? Well, I guess mushrooms do have deep roots, so yeah. Carbon and oxygen, alright. Let's just mine this real quick for that carbon and oxygen. Chromatic metal is one of the probably the best secondary m minerals, or I guess. Yeah, we are we are doing great in terms of resources so far. The fact that we're getting chromatic metal is just the best thing ever. That means technically if I mine enough of these rocks, I don't even need... T At least I think for the first part of the game to actually gather any copper. We're not getting a, l a lot. Yeah, we almost have 50 already. Alright, let's just go towards the... Yeah, we were going in the complete wrong direction. Are we going the right way now? Okay, I think we- we are going the right way, okay. Let's gather this, and that as well. And actually, before we gather that, let's gather this. For some more oxygen, because we need that. For life support. Alright. Now let's mine you. Alright, bye. Where do you need to go? Here, okay, let's go. Nice. What? How? Holy shit, look at this. A shit ton of these gassy things. Oh, bro, can you just shut the hell up? Alright, you know what? Since it's dumbass sentinels, I'm just gonna gather that. For now. God damn it! Why am I always going in the- I'm getting- Keep on getting distracted by the most random shit. Alright, let's just restore now. Have a lot. 
We have a lot of oxygen now, thankfully. And we have another one, dude. We have another one. Let's just gather. I'm... Let's just gather these. These already give enough. Mining it is just an extra... Extra work that we don't really need. Let's scan this. What does this give us? Sodium? Eh, not bad. I've already 53 chromatic metal. That is great. Just by mining some rocks. Alright. Damn, like, the environment on these planets are just so dense and rich. And the environments are rich and dense, the... The variety of creatures, of plants, of everything is just incredible. Wait, I didn't scan this yet? Let's scan it. Scan everything that we can get for the units and the nanites. Let's mine this as well, condensed carbon. Alright. How am I getting further away? Like, come on, man. Because I keep on getting distracted. Where even is it? We're so close, dude. We're only a hundred. Alright, there. I see it. I see it. Alright. I don't need it now anymore because I see it. Alright, let's save our game. Save and chart. And Anton Ha Outpost, amazing name, but okay. Broken technology. Decipher signal. Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. I don't want to spoil lore, but that is a very significant number for this game. Sixteen. Very significant. Extract plans. Yes! Okay, terrain manipulator. Okay, so now we can, if we install it, which we should. Alright. We have a dihydrogen jelly already. Now we just need, what, two carbon nanotubes that we can get very easily. Boom. I don't even need to. We can just build our base already. Oh, you know what? Since it's already here, I'm just gonna gather the copper. Since it's so damn close, it's literally right here. That is so convenient. I'm pretty sure it's random too. It's not, it's proce everything is procedurally generated. So that is pure luck. Because these copper deposits can spawn anywhere on the planet. That is just very lucky that it was right next to the save point. All right, we gathered that buried technology module as well right here. That is so lucky, man. Too lucky. Wait, did I gather these or no? No, I didn't. Okay. Sodium. What does this have in store? The hydrogen jelly. Okay, nice. Did I scan these? No, I didn't. Okay. And what does this give? Just carbon. Okay. Damn, these rocks are amazing, dude. These rocks- I got, I got so lucky this run. A planet with bones in the system? And freaking chromatic metal as a secondary- Thing, dude, that is just insane, man. That is just so lucky. Damn it, stop! Oh, come on, man. Leave me the heck alone. You stupid shit. Right, I think that's enough.
Oh, do I have to refine chromatic metal for- Oh, come on, that sucks. I'm probably gonna need chromatic metal anyway, later. Okay. Alright then. I'll refine all of it then. Okay then. Okay, nice. What is this creature, man? Oh, these. These are... That's what's making that noise. I thought, like, what the heck is stomping around? Did I scan this, by the way? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, dihydrogen. Alright. Let's get that. I have dihydrogen jelly already, but, you know, more can never hurt. Well, actually, I guess it can, because our inventory system, yeah, is limited. We only have up to 500 of each material. In the normal game, that's what also makes it harder. In the normal game, we have up to, I think, 999,000. Oh, no, just 9,999. 9, not 999,000. 999. That's basically 10,000 of each material, which is a lot more than 500. 20 times more, so yeah. Alright, perfect. And we get our cover back. Okay. So where should I build the base? Yeah, you know what? This is good. This is a flat area. Yeah. I think this is good. It's a flat area. Not a lot in our way. Claim base. We have our first base. We have our first base. Archives available. Alright. Extract plants for the shelter. And we got them. First of all, let's rename it. You know, we don't... How about E Cerberus? I'm not creative whatsoever. Permadef Base. Should I even build multiple bases? Nah, I'm probably not. Alright. Alright. Can I build it on top of here? Alright, let's... So, how should the base start out? Alright, I'm just gonna build a... 3 by... 2 by 3 or 3 by 3? You know what? 3 by 3 to start out. Actually, nah, 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 nah. Hmm. 3 by 2 3 by 2 makes the most sense. Because, yeah, I don't have infinite car- What the hell? I don't have infinite carbon. Although, I do have a lot of carbon. But still, not, you know... I cannot afford to just build whatever I want, like, willy-nilly. Alright, should I- What kind of roof do I want? Flat or rounded? Eh, I guess rounded. Alright, let's just build them. Oh, and there's also a storm right now. Oh, okay. Wait, but I need a way to get in. Alright. Damn it, I need pure fur aid. I need pure fur aid. Damn it. Why, man? I need pure fur aid. Ten. I only need ten. I only need ten. Time to process three seconds. All right. All right, perfect. Perfect. Since I wasted so much carbon, I guess I should mine. Oh shit, 115 degrees? What the hell? I thought this planet was nice. What the heck, man? This planet is freaking insane, dude. How long is it gonna take for this thing, for this freaking tree to break, man? Alright. 
God damn, dude. Alright. Recovering salvage data. Let's, let's extract all the plans. Alright, we got a construction unit. Alright, so what do we need to build it? 20 magnetized for a carbon nanotubes. Alright, we got carbon nanotubes. Pretty simple. Now we got... Alright, let's just put carbon in there. Okay. We need magnetized for it. How much do we need? I think we needed 20. So we need to, first of all, make 40 pure fur. Alright. What do we need again? Yeah, 20. Okay. Alright, perfect. Now we need... Alright, perfect. Once this is done, we can build this. And I think this is it. This has been a pretty long video. I mean, we, we got our ship. We were built it. We built a base. Perfect. Perfection. Alright, let's build it. Yeah, let's just... No, let's pick this up. Let's get rid of this crap that's in here. Wait. Alright. Let's build it, I guess, here. Okay. Perfect. Research buildable technology. Okay, what do we need? Base teleport module. All right. So we can teleport from, for example, space stations if we get to one to... My base. Okay, let's do that. Oh, we need materials. Of course, we do metal plating four. And how many carbon nanotubes? Two? Okay. Alright. But we need power! Of course we do! Ha! Alright, what do we need? Yeah, I'm not gonna do biofuel reactor. Alright, yeah, okay. Let's summon our ship here. What do we need again for starship fuel? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, we sum Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. We have escaped the original planet. Build a base, repaired our ship, obviously, and that's good for the beginning. Now we need to make power. Now we need to build... Yeah, we need to research the parts to, to produce power for our base, and then probably go from there. And actually get to space stations, explore stuff. And that is about it, alright. Thank you guys for watching, and hope you enjoy your day, and see you next time. Peace.